So the first thing we have to do is to occlude the left eye. Now this is the occluder. You'll see that it is just a disc with no holes and it's just a black disc and that will then fit into the trial frame and prevent them from seeing with the left eye. So we put first of all that in. The next thing we need to do is to put the pinhole into the other lens. So I'm just going to set the frame up to do that. So the pinhole can go into the left eye. So he's now got an occluder in the left eye, sorry, and the pinhole is now in the right eye. With the pinhole in place, we then ask the patient to see whether it improves his vision. So we have to compare his vision between not having anything in the trial frame and then we compare it with the pinhole in place. If the pinhole doesn't make any improvement to his vision then we know that this eye, the right eye, is amblyopic. It means that it cannot see very well. It may be that he has a dense cataract, it may be he has some form of eye disease, but whatever it is, this eye won't be able to see with glasses. So it's a very important test because the pinhole will identify refractive error. If looking at the chart, he can see a little bit better with the pinhole, it means that we can improve his vision with glasses. So we test the, the, the eye, first of all, without anything in the trial frame. So we, we test it like this. We measure what their visual acuity is. That's how far down the chart they can see. And then we put the pinhole in and then we measure how well they can see with the pinhole in and we make a note on their record. Because this will tell us if we need to continue with subjective refraction. So once we've done the pinhole test and we know that we can improve their vision with glasses. We then need to put the, do the first step, which is to put that plus one lens into the trial frame. So that's, this is the number one. This is the convex lens here. So this is the plus one. Now the idea of this is to relax the accommodation. So we place the plus one into the trial frame. And then we ask the patient, does this make it better? Does this make it worse? Or is there no difference? And whatever that patient responds, how they respond will determine what you do next. Whether you add more plus lenses or whether you remove the plus one and reduce it down and then start adding minus lenses. So let's, um, let's assume that this patient is long sighted and he needs more plus lenses. Now remember I was saying about if he could see 618 on the chart or worse we need to maybe start with stronger lenses. So we're going to choose, um, we'll pretend that he's 618, that that's as, as good as we can get. So I'm going to then put another plus one on top of this lens here and then we ask the same question. Is it better? Is it worse? Or is, there, or is there no difference in the vision? If he says it's better, then we need to add some more plus. So what I would do is I would take these two out. So we, we remove those two. Well, we'll keep that one in to keep the, the accommodation relaxed. So we will just take one out and we will replace it with a plus two. And then if they say, I said that's the plus two. So he's now got plus three in the trial frame. If he says that that is worse than it was with the plus one extra added, we can then reduce it. So we take the two out and we can put a plus 150 in. So he's now wearing 
you can see 150 is written on the actual lens. So he's now wearing 250, the plus one that we put in to begin with, plus another 150. And if he says that that's better, then what we can do is that we can just try a very weak lens, maybe an 025. You don't have to put it into the frame, you can just offer it up and say, is it better with that or is it better without? If they say it's better without, then we, we, we keep them with the 150. If they say it's better with, we can then replace the 150 for a, a 1.75. 1.75 1 is 150 with plus 025 added to it. So we can put a stronger lens in. So we take that one out. It's important to leave that one in when you're doing this to make sure that their accommodation is relaxed. We put the 175 in and we now have reached the best vision sphere for this patient, providing he says that that is nice and clear or that that gives them the best results on the chart. So we fine tune with, the, with the, just the, the very weak lens, that 025, we just fine tune it and just double check before we make the final decisions. Okay, so now let's, let's assume that the patient is myopic, that he is actually short-sighted. In the case of myopia, when we put the plus one in there to relax the accommodation, the short-sighted person would say they don't like that, so we need to reduce it. So we can reduce it by putting an 050 in there first of all, just to start with. So we'll take the plus one out and we will just put a plus 050 and we put that in the trial frame like that. So we've got a plus 050, we just reduce it down and then we ask the question is that better, is it worse or is the letters just looking a little bit darker or is there no difference and then according to what they respond if they say well it's a little bit better then we know that we need to perhaps add more minus to see if we can improve it. So we could then maybe offer up a minus one. So this is a minus one lens and we put that over the eye and we say is that better or is that worse? And if they say it's looking better then you say okay well let's put in as, let's put a slightly stronger lens into the trial frame. So we put the minus one back and then we can try a minus 150. So we go up by another 050. So we put 150 in there and then we say is that better or is it worse? And if they say it is better then you can continue to add more minus until you get to that point where they can see no better. And it may be that the letters look a bit smaller or a bit darker, but if they don't see any better, we still need to stop at that point because we don't want to put too much minus in there because his eyes will start to accommodate. So remember, with short-sighted people, we need to use the minimum amount of minus to achieve the best visual acuity that we can.